I could use two words to describe how it's feeling this morning. Brutally cold and look at all of North Alabama while we're preparing for what's going to be a beautiful sunrise. We're going to stay chilly. We're in the 20s across the board as we look over North Alabama from our Way 31 Sky Camera Network sponsored by Thompson Roofing. 22 in Huntsville, 20 in Decatur, 23 in Gunnersville. Our warm spot but not feeling warm by any means. 22 degrees in the shoals and this is what it actually feels like outside like we're in the teens even some areas feeling like the single digits out there especially in some of those higher elevations so as we go on throughout the day we're not going to see much activity on here it's a quiet sweep across all three of our radar sites from our way 31 at storm tracker early warning radar network and it's exactly what we need that beautiful sunshine it's going to warm us up a little bit as well as improve some of those conditions in northeast East Alabama and those higher elevations where we are seeing the icy road. So we'll see barely a cloud in the sky as we go on throughout the day. But as I mentioned, it's going to help those road conditions improve, but it's not going to warm us up by much. So if you do have to get out hitting the road, whether you're running errands or taking a road trip, I would say, especially in those areas in Northeast, I'm going to give you the yellow light, maybe even the red light if you have to go through a bridge overpass or some of those higher elevations. But by the later part of the morning and the afternoon, Conditions will improve. You'll be good to go, but you're still going to want to give yourself a little bit of extra time to get in that car and heat things up because as I mentioned, we're going to stay in those mid 30s for our high today and we're going to continue to see gusty winds as we go into tonight and the teens can even get as high as 20 miles per hour at some parts of today. And as we go into tonight, clear skies, wind does calm down a little bit, sets us up for some radiational cooling, which means we're going to be back in the 20s as we head to bed tonight and as we wake up for your Sunday. The good thing is, even though your Sunday starts off chilly, by the time we get to the afternoon, much more seasonable temperatures, a beautiful sunny day to be outside, and it's going to continue to be that way for your Sunday and your Monday, as well as your Tuesday. We'll see highs in the mid to upper 50s, so it's a good idea to maybe get out and get that car washed if you haven't already, but by the time we get to Tuesday, going to give you a yellow light for that car wash, and that is because we are not making it out this seven day without that chance for rain. So let's track it here on Future Radar. So this is Wednesday morning. We'll start to see that widespread rain move through the area by the time we get to Wednesday afternoon and it continues as we go through your Thursday morning through your Thursday afternoon before it eventually moves out by your Thursday night. So we're expecting some downpours with this, not anything severe, maybe a rumble of thunder or two, but by Wednesday night we could see an inch to an inch and a half in some areas and by the time we get to Thursday night, look at this, almost three inches of rain in some of those areas. So thank Thankfully, we've been a little bit more dry during this past couple of days, so we're not expecting any flooding issues right now. But in fact, the bigger story is going to be what moves in as that rain moves out, and that is some colder air. So you see our high go from the upper 50s and mid 50s, then we get to Thursday sticking in those mid 50s. Look at that high on Friday back in the 40s, and we're waking up in the 20s once again to end out the work week.